Hello students, I'm going to discuss the quick solutions of All India Akash Test Series Medical 2020 RM Test number 4 code E and F. Your test was held on 12th of January 2020 and I'll be dealing with the botany section. So let's quick take the botany questions. Question number 91. The only means of gaseous movement within the plant body is active transport, diffusion, facilitated diffusion or uphill transport. So the only means of gaseous movement within the plant body is diffusion. So the correct option for the given question is option number two. What about the other options? The active transport, facilitated diffusion or the uphill transport. They also help in the transport but not in the movement of gases. Let's move to the next question. Question number 92. Porins are rotatory proteins found in the plasma membrane of animal cells. No, it is not true about the porin proteins. Second, there are small pores in lipid bilayer and allows only water molecules to pass through. No, they are huge pores. They are not small pores. Hence, this statement is also incorrect. Third one, proteins that form huge pores in the outer membrane of the semi-autonomous cell organelles. It is true that the pore in proteins that form the huge pores in the outer membrane of the semi-autonomous cell organelles such as mitochondria and chloroplast, they also found in the outer membrane of the bacteria also. Fourth one, some lipid molecules that can change their polarity to facilitate the transport of protein molecules. No, porin are proteins, not the lipid molecules. So the correct option for the given question is option number three. Let's move to the next question. Question number 93, which of the following statements is incorrect? First option, at atmospheric pressure, water potential of pure water is zero. It is True. By convention, water potential of pure water is zero at atmospheric pressure. Second option, solute potential of a solution may be negative, positive or zero. No. If we talk about the solution, solute potential of a solution will be always negative. It cannot be positive or zero. So this statement is incorrect. Third one, when the pressure potential is zero, the water potential of a solution becomes equal to its solute potential. Yes, how? Because psi w is equal to psi s plus psi p means water potential is the sum of solute potential and pressure potential. When you make it zero, then psi w will be equal to psi s. It is correct. Fourth one, the more the solute molecules in the solution, more negative will be the solute potential. It is also correct. So, the incorrect statement is the second one. So, the correct option for the given question is option number two. Let's move to the next question. Question number 94, three cells A, B and C are adjacent to each other as shown below. Choose the option that is showing the direction for the flow of water correctly. Just to see the flow of water, you have to find out the water potential. This is the easiest method. So find out the water potential of these three cells. Here, what will be the value of psi w? As I discussed in the previous question that psi w is equal to psi s plus psi p. So what will be the value of psi w over here? It will be minus 12 plus 5. That is minus 7. Here, it will be minus 20 plus 13 again minus 7 here it will be minus 9 plus 2 again minus 7 you can see here that these three cells are in equilibrium because their value of water potential is same so the correct option for the given question is option number four let's move to the next question question number 95 a cell of a marine plant is placed in a liquid it is observed that water flows into the cell and out of the cell that is in equilibrium. This liquid is said to be because the water flows in and out and the cell is in equilibrium with the liquid. It means the liquid is isotonic to the cell. So the correct option for the given question is option number one. Let's move to the next question. Mm -hmm. 